welcome to my online Chacarera classes. I'm Cristina Ivanova and I'm offering short videos on the Chacarera dance, Argentinian folklore. And so, so far we had two classes. The very first class was about basic step done in place. The second class was about basic step moving forward and backward, avanza, retraso, and that step was actual chacarera step that we use an actual movement in the chacarera that we use when we dance, right? So I'm going to very quick do recap of the first two classes to the music, to the rhythm of chacarera and then we'll move forward. So um, the first step was in place on four counts. One, two, three, four. And I did it in four directions, facing the center, then constantly turning to the left in four corners. And then the second class was using that basic step, moving forward and backward on two counts forward, on two counts backward, using the step. So I will show it here. Okay, once again. And I did it in four directions as well, always moving to my left side. So let's go ahead and do the piece the music. two classes we also talked about technique and we were saying that in Chakarere as we dance we use the flat foot, the whole foot and the ball of your foot and our feet are moving in a way that we always alternate our feet. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, okay. We also talked about our knees and we said that we want to have our knees bent, slightly bent um, so that the um, articulation of the movement comes from your ankle and actually articulating the feet. We also talked about our hips and said that our hips, they are, we want to keep them in one line, so left hip or right hip, hip doesn't go up and down. We always have them in one, in one line. So, today we're going to learn a new move that is called Hero, the turn. 
and we'll return to our left shoulder, meaning we are turning to the left. So we're going to take the first step of Chakaraya, which goes forward and backward. So we go avanzo, moving forward, and retraso, going backward, in line, in one straight line. So now we also want to start talking about the space, how we organize the dance, how we organize Chakaraya in this space. So the basic step is moved in one straight line. You can think of having a spot where you have it, you call it your home, your base. You have a space home. From that home, you are moving straight forward in a line. Huh? And then you are moving from that point, you are moving straight backward to your home in one straight line. Now, we're going to be moving slightly to this side, to your right side. As we, as we leave our home, we no longer be going straight in line, but we'll be going a little bit in a diagonal, going in a, in an oval shape, more or less. So, not in the line, but going around, Heel, turn, and back in straight line if it's possible. We can have the curve, okay, coming back to your home. The idea is that you want to go back to your original point, which is your home. So I'm going to demonstrate that without music. So what it is to be moving in line? Here is my home, okay? And I'm moving in the line. One, two. I'm going straight back up to my home. Three, four. This element, you know, we've done it. Now, here. I'm moving slightly to the diagonal. One, two. And here I turn. I'm already sideways towards you guys. And I'm going to now turn through my left shoulder. And I'm coming home with my back towards you. Again. One, two, turn, three, four. And I'm back at home at my original position. Again. One. Two, three, four. So it is important again to have our drawing straight line, and then from that straight line, we are moving slightly to the diagonal. We pass our partner, so both partners will turn their back towards each other. What is happening with the upper body, with the arms? and snap, snapping will go over that in the next videos, okay? For now, we are focusing only on our lower body, on our feet. So, again, from our home, we go slightly to the diagonal, we pass our partner, we turn our back towards the partner, and with our backs now facing the center, we come back in straight line towards our homes. The count is still the same, we are doing the count of four. And remember that four, one count, the musical count, has three little steps. Left, right, left, that count one, right, left, right. That counts for one as well. And so we are moving in a four counts, okay, with the music.
two wounds together. The first one is our base step down in line forward backward. The next one a hero the turn where I'm going slightly first to my right to create slightly a curve. I'm passing my partner, I'm turning my back towards my partner and coming back home in a straight line. That will take us eight counts. The first four counts are going to be straight line, forward and backward. One, two, forward, three, four, backward. And then four counts going on the heel. One, two, I reach the center with my partner, three, four, I'm coming back home. And I will repeat this pattern all over again. Let's do it together with the music. good now guys i hope you enjoyed class number three if you have missed class number one or class number two there are links in the description box under this video so you can go ahead and watch again or uh, if you haven't watched or watch it the video number one class number one class number two where i give a little bit more explanation on how the body work in Chakarera and again for now I'm focusing only on the lower body I'm leaving the upper body I'm leaving the hands but we'll go to that once we establish the full structure of the Chakarera dance once you have down your your figures what the feet are doing, right? We are also going to be talking about the music, the rhythm. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I look I'm looking forward to see you again.